Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about background checks and I'm going to share my, my opinion of why I am against them, okay? Uh, the main reason is because background checks are too easy to abuse, okay? Um, now basically, if you, you know, if you want to deny people their, their, their gun rights, okay, you know, you can, you know, create laws uh, that will make almost anything, um, you know, a, 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 an offense that will deny, that you know, that will cause them to fail a background check. Okay, and I'll give you an example. In New York City, if you have too many traffic tickets, okay, uh, that is a reason why they would deny you your gun rights. Okay, so you know normally that wouldn't matter. Okay, basically you just pay the ticket and you know you move on. Okay, except that when you go to you know if you when you go to uh, get a gun permit in New York City, you know, they, they run this background check on you. They say, you, you know, they, you've got too many parking tickets. And now all of a sudden, because you've had to go through this system, you know, where they're checking you, okay, uh, you know, they, now they have a way of denying you your, uh, uh, your gun rights. Whereas if you could just go out and buy a gun without having to check with government first, they, that couldn't happen, okay? So, so that's my, my main reason of why I am against background checks, okay? So even though on the surface it seems like a good idea or, you know, um, I, I think that a lot more harm can come from it uh, than good, okay? Uh, now, another reason that I like to point out, one of the reasons why I don't like background checks um, is, is it takes away our deniability in the sense, and I'll explain this, okay? In the future, okay, uh, if they were to ever uh, start, uh, you know, banning guns, okay? okay, here in Pennsylvania, when when you buy a handgun, okay, that gets registered with the state police, okay, uh, as opposed to if you buy a rifle or shotgun, that does not get registered with the state police, okay. So in the future, if they were to ever start banning guns, okay, um, and basically when they knock on my door and say, hey, we're here to pick up your pistols, okay, I can't deny that I have these pistols because, because there's a record, all right, through the background check system that I bought them. And if I sell them, again, since they have to go through a background check, you know, there's a record that I sold them. So there's a, there's a record of them coming to me and there's a record of them going to me. So it's very hard for me to say that I don't have them or I never bought them, okay, or, or, or I sold them. Uh, because if I if I sold them, then there would be a record since they gotta go through the background checks. Okay, uh, rifles and shotguns, on the other hand, if in the future if they ever ban those and they knock on my door and say, "Hey, we're here to collect your ARs," okay, um, th since those ne since the, the 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 selling of those didn't have to go through a background check, okay, you know there may be a record of me buying them, but I can always I can turn around and can say, "Hey, I don't have them because I sold them." All right. I sold them when it was legal for me to sell them, uh, and I did not keep a record because no record was required at the time that, that I sold them, okay? Uh, so that's my deniability. I have the ability to say I don't have these guns, and the reason is because I sold them, um, you know, privately when it was legal to sell them privately. So private gun sales give me deniability. So even though, you know, I can pass a background check, okay, uh, the background check, the, or the rather the lack of a background check, gives me future deniability uh, if they ever decide that, that they're going to come around and collect guns. Okay, so so that that's my that's my main reason of uh, you know of uh, you know my main reason why I'm against background checks. And, and I'll give you an example within my state of how it can be abused. In the state of Pennsylvania, it is illegal for the state to maintain a gun registry. Okay and yet one exists okay so when the legislatures when the legislators wrote the law you know they said basically it's illegal for there to be a state registry the state police still maintains this registry it went to court and the the way that the that they the, the, you know that they worked around it is that they said well it's not a complete registry because uh the record only exists if you buy guns uh within the state if you move into the state from another state Okay, and you bring your guns with you. There, there's no record of the of the guns that you brought in. So hence the the registry is not complete. So it's not a registry, which is a bunch of bullshit. Okay, basically the state maintains a registry even though it is illegal for the state to maintain a registry. So right there is the most perfect example of how a background check can be abused. Because if there was no background check, if I can go to the gun store and buy my guns without 
without having to go through that background check, then the state police would never get a record uh, of the pistols that I bought. All right. So there are my thoughts on that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.